Hello everyone, my name is Adele and I'm a program manager at Microsoft on the Windows AI platform team. Today I'll be showing you how you can train your own image classification model using ML.NET Model Builder and then deploy that model using the Windows ML APIs in order to get hardware agnostic GPU acceleration. Today's scenario, we will be training an image classification model to detect different types of foods. Before I get started, here are a couple prerequisites that you'll need to complete this project. First, Windows 10 version 1809 or higher. The Windows SDK for build 17.763 or higher. You'll need developer mode enabled. You'll need Visual Studio 2017 or later. Today, I'll be using Visual Studio 2019. You'll need the ML.NET Model Builder Visual Studio extension, which I will show you how to download when we jump into Visual Studio in just a minute. You'll also need the ML Code Generator Visual Studio extension, and this is for when we start using the Windows ML APIs. The final tool you'll need is the Windows ML dashboard, which you can download on the Windows ML GitHub. And finally, you'll need an Azure account and an Azure ML workspace, which you can set up on the Azure portal. So let's go to Visual Studio. What I have here is a blank c .net console application. To use Model Builder, I first need to download the extension. I'll do so by selecting the extension menu and manage extensions. Then I'll go ahead and search for model builder. And you can see that there is a green check mark here indicating that I already have it downloaded. Otherwise I would be prompted to do so here. I also need the windows machine learning code generator, which Again, here, I already have downloaded. So now that I'm ready to go with my extensions, I'm going to go over to the right to my Solution Explorer, right click, add, add, and machine learning. The Model Builder UI pops up and now I can pick my scenario from the selection that you see here. You can see that image classification and object detection include Azure ML, which is what I want in order to use the Windows Machine Learning APIs because the Azure engine will give me an Onyx model ready to use. So I'm going to select image classification and then Azure. And when I select setup workspace, this is where I link my Azure account with the model builder tool. Now everything is linked and ready to go, so I can go on to the next step. The next step is adding my data. On the right, you can see the example folder structure that the tool expects. It's a folder of images, and inside that folder are individual folders with each of the different labels, and then within that, the images, which can be simply numbered. What this looks like for us is I have an image folder, what I see here are the three different labels that I expect, bread, soup, and vegetable or fruit. So the tool was able to parse my data correctly. Going on to the next step, this is where we start training. All I need to do is click the start training button. This can take a few minutes depending on how much data you have. So we'll be right back when this is trained. Now I have a trained model and you can see that my accuracy is 96.72%. Let's go on to the next step, which is evaluating our model. This is where I can test my model with new data before I go into the actual code portion. So let's try out with this piece of bread. The results are exactly what I expect, 100% it's bread. It's important here to note the format that the data is in. This is key to working with my model later with the Windows ML APIs. 
So what I see is different labels with the associated probabilities. The next step is where we will get our Onyx model. What I need to do is click Add to Solution. You can see on the right a bunch of different files popped up. And what this is, is a solution to inference the model with ML.NET, which is great. But today I'll be showing you how to use the Windows ML APIs to get that hardware agnostic GPU acceleration. What I'm going to do is right click on my Onyx model and select copy. Then I'm simply going to go into my files, right click and paste. I'm doing this because before we go into another Visual Studio project for our app, we always recommend looking at the model with the Windows ML dashboard. This is what the dashboard looks like, and it lets you view your model and edit metadata, and also has an Onyx conversion tool and a runner tool so that you can check if the model works with the APIs before actually calling the code in your app. So I'm going to click Open Model and select my model. When it loads, I can see the model architecture in the middle, as well as some metadata on the left and the right. What I'm interested in here it mostly is my model inputs and outputs. So I know that the model input is an image, so I'm going to change the type denotation to image. And this gives the proper data to our ML code generator tool, which we will use in just a minute. Everything else looks good. The output is a tensor float, which is the type I expect with the different labels and probabilities. So now what I'm going to do is just save my model. Now back to Visual Studio again, where here I have a C-sharp universal Windows app. The first thing I'm going to do is right-click on my assets, add existing item, and I'm going to choose my model. So now the model is in my project, and you'll see that a C-sharp file with the same name as my model popped up, and this is a result of the ML code generator. It automatically generates wrapper classes to use with the Windows ML APIs when an Onyx model is added to the project. So let's take a look at what is in this file. First, you see the expected model inputs as an image feature value, which is what I expect knowing that my input is going to be an image. You also see the output as a tensor float, which is what I expect. Next, the create from stream async method instantiates the model as a learning model. The learning model class represents a trained machine learning model, and once instantiated, the learning model is the initial object you use to interact with Windows ML. Here is where the model is loaded and a session is created on the device. The evaluate async method, as it sounds, evaluates the model. Here is where we bind the model input and we get the output. These are the main steps in using Windows machine learning. Load the model, create a session, bind the inputs, and evaluate the model to get the output. We will call these classes in the main page file, so let's take a look at that. I have the rest of this solution folder pre-prepared so we can go through the code together and I'll explain what's happening. At a high level, this file contains the code to pick an image from my computer, load and bind the inputs, evaluate and extract the model output or classification prediction, and display the results on the screen. Here I have all of the libraries that I need. The main one I added is the windows.ai.machinelearning. Then I have all of the variable declarations that I need, including the labels for images and variables for handling the model inputs and outputs. I also have a helper file here, which just helps resize the new image input and convert that to the correct bitmap pixel format. Back to the main page. First, I implement the load model method. 
This method will access the Onyx model and store it into memory. Then we use the create from stream async method from the MLGen code. Next, I have two methods which allow the user to select an image from their computer and save it into memory. Next, I have a method to bind the new selected image to the model. So what happens is we take in the image as a bitmap, we encapsulate that image into a video frame, and then bind the input to the model as an image feature value, which as we know is what the model is expecting. My next two methods are what I need to actually call the evaluate of the model. So we have the evaluate async from the ML code generator file. And then next is the method to actually extract the results. What I do here is I take in the results as a tensor float, convert it to a vector, and then loop through each of the different labels to find the maximum probability. And this is my image prediction. And the last piece here is just to display the result on the simple interface that I created. And now let's try it out. I'm going to run it here locally on my machine. All right, so here is what my app looks like. And what I'm going to do is select pick image. So now I can test out with fruit. So let's select the image. And just like I expect, the prediction is vegetable fruit. I can also try a different image. Let's try the soup. And again, I get the correct prediction of soup. And with that, today's walkthrough is now complete. I hope it was helpful for you, and I encourage you to visit aka.ms slash Windows Machine Learning to learn more and to get started today. Thanks.